Moving cattle on horseback is a setting seared into the American psyche. Although the Wild West may be a little less wild these days, the open range remains. Cattle movement over the years has changed significantly uh, with technology and, and uh, you know, the new ATVs and rangers and uh, side-by-sides. You see more and more people using, using them to go out and move cattle uh, and people straying from the, from the horses and, and horseback cattle work. Moving cattle on horseback, it's a connection that, you know, for myself and, and for many people who raise horses and, and ride horses quite often, it, it's a great, great connection to get out on the range, uh, push cattle, horseback the way it was done a hundred years ago. Um, you know, it, it's, it's tough to find that same connection with a motorized all-terrain vehicle and do it all the horseback the way it's been done and the way it's meant to be done is uh, pretty irreplaceable. I'm, you know, comfortable out there, uh, you know, in a, in a stadium packed with, uh, with fans and um, on that mound is a familiar place, but um, I guess, the, you know, the, the peace aspect of uh, coming back here, um, uh, getting in touch with wildlife and the land is, is, uh, is, a, is a really, uh, you know, it's a, it's a peaceful feeling. Much like keeping one's body in shape is important, cattle must also maintain good health. All of this starts with good nutrition. Good cattle health is key to that animal's success and nutrition is foremost in achieving that. If the animal's plane of nutrition is optimized, then the ability to remain healthy is, is optimized. And we're dealing with the herbivore and so optimizing what that herbivore's nutritional needs are allows it to be healthy and consequently grow and reproduce and do all that it's supposed to do. That's the key is optimizing that nutrition, keeping them in good health so that they just prevent disease and perform better. And Sweet Pro focuses on fermented feeds, be it corn, be it wheat, oats, barley, and flax. So all the starch is gone, but the fibrous fraction is enhanced and the protein is enhanced and the minerals are concentrated. And so the ability for that animal to utilize those nutrients more efficiently just comes into play and then it matches up with the rest of their forage and, and hay that they're eating on site. Sweet Pro pioneered the use of distillers grains and solubles for pasture cattle and horses. It was done with the lick tub format which is made without molasses. Molasses has been a good vehicle for getting vitamin and mineral dispensed to cattle and to horses, but you have to go backwards a little bit because the sugar depresses the rumen pH, and so they have to offset that. Where with the Sweet Pro products, where you've got a fermented base, you don't have that offset requirement, so you don't go backwards before you go forward, you just go forward. And that's such a big deal that feed efficiency factor is allowing more to be done on forages and it's unique in the industry and we're finding that the, those are, people are benefiting from it tremendously. Sweet Pro features fermented grains and yeast with high natural protein, plus a unique blend of prebiotics that are designed to boost feed efficiency and animal health. Sweet Pro is unique because it's a, it's a fiber a supplement to a fiber digester. There's no waste in the product, there's no waste in the process from you know, how the animal actually digests and, and consumes the product. They're getting all the raw materials and, and all the raw nutrients right where they need them. Sweet Pro has really fallen into our grazing program here. Uh, you know, this time of year in California, our feed is dry, uh, there's not a lot of nutrients in it. So supplement's a big part of, of our nutritional program until our rains start and our green grass comes. And even then, it takes a while for that grass to have much to it. Uh, so supplementing is, is a big part of, of ranching in California on the Central Coast here. Keeping the cattle healthy and growing and keeping the horses in great shape are key to a successful enterprise. Well, we see some dramatic changes in cattle grazing and that the ability for that animal to graze and consequently actually improve soil health is better and better understood. And that if we strategically supplement that program where sometimes the grasses are just a little bit short 
and we allow the animal to do more on grass, more on pasture, uh, we see that that's going to be improving that side of the pasture cattle industry and necessitating less grain feeding, less feedlots, for example, but ultimately a net healthier animal in the process. For more information on All Sweet Pro Distillers grain-based rangeland and bunk-fed products with ProBioTeam, or to find a dealer near you, visit www.sweetpro.com.